If we are to live in a more sustainable manner, the world needs a large economic change. Bioeconomy is a development based on biology's own terms, with as little impact as possible on the environment. By living from what nature can offer, we contribute towards a renewable economy without losing any benefits on the way. Norway has many possibilities to develop farming, aquaculture and forestry, so as to become a driving force in the future Norwegian economy. We have an abundance of bio-resources that can be used, such as timber, kelp and seaweed. This makes us into a bioeconomy superpower. But how does it work? When you eat a chop, enzymes and bacteria break down the food, allowing it to be digested. By collecting enzymes and bacteria from nature, researchers can process them and imitate nature in industrialized processes. This creates new products and knowledge that can be sold and purchased. We may find products that can replace the oil-based ones and that are more environmentally friendly. This might be packaging, vanillin, which is the vanilla taste in ice cream, medicines, bioplastics, or fuel for cars. What will this mean for Norway? At present, we import soya as animal feed. Soya beans are transported a huge distance from South America to Norway. That is not environmentally friendly. Also, soya is an important food for people, and Norwegian industry and research are therefore looking at the possibility of replacing the soya beans in animal feed. Let us look at what Norway has a lot of that is not being used for food. Well, we have a long coastline, and along this extended coastal fringe grows a multitude of kelp and seaweed, and on land we have lots of forests. Researchers are studying how to make feed for animals from organic materials that are not being used to feed people. This makes timber, kelp and seaweed, and a number of nutritious biomasses, into resources that can be made use of. In all the world's food production, there is wastage along the whole of the value chain from farm to fork. Let us look at a maize plant as an example. You only eat a minuscule part of this plant, the rest is wasted. Researchers want to find solutions that will enable us to make use of what we are not using to feed people for other purposes, such as fertilizer, animal feeds or fuel. In other words, what cannot be eaten is a resource to be used. This is just a small example in order to describe bioeconomy in practice. Up until the 20th century, we had a nature-based economy where people sustained themselves by farming, forestry and fishing. During the 20th century, oil arrived, giving the world's population access to cheap energy and raw material for most of what we surround ourselves with. In Norway, oil brought about a great increase in welfare. Bioeconomy will provide a more environmentally friendly society with many exciting opportunities, both to create new products and to establish new jobs. And best of all, the resources are recirculated again and again and again.